Okay, hi guys. Uh, just a quick video to say hello, and I've got a couple of apologies to make. Here's my DD hammock I've just bought. Um, first of all, I'd just like to show you a couple of things on this. Also, I would just like to. I've got a couple of apologies to make, basically. Um, first of all, to all my subscribers, I want to say sorry. Haven't put many videos up. Uh, unfortunately, I've been working six days a week, 14 hours a day lately, so it's been pretty tough uh, to get out and about. I've been tagged by um, 12 Sagittarian to do a bushcraft breakfast. I will be doing that very soon. Um, I'm going to block my days off and hopefully get out there, get my hammock up, go for a nice wild camp. Um, I've just put it up in the hallway upstairs at the moment just to have a play, really. A couple of things on it that I didn't realise I had. Uh, first of all, I'll just show you my quick setup. Um, obviously, please bear in mind this is very rough. I'm upstairs on the landing. There's not much distance between the doors, so it's not actually set up properly. But you'll get the gist of the idea of how I'm going to set mine up. Um, first of all, what I've done is my whoopee sling. I've actually put that into the ends of. The hammock I've took their webbing out um, a couple of people have asked whether if you put the whoopee sling directly through the end of the hammock whether it put too much pressure on the material and fray it and tear it um, there is actually material sewn in like the tube that goes through that the webbing would normally go through in here there is two pieces of webbing either side to stop any chafing because uh, I must admit that was my concern to begin with was the chafing of the whoopee sling to the material um, What this is part of the webbing that went through obviously it was about six foot long now what I've done with this piece before I put the whoopee sling in cut e you can't really see because unfortunately this video is not very clear I cut each end and heated so that's hard plastic sort of feeling now and I was going to thread the whoopee sling through there and have that as like a tube going through just to give it that extra protection but once I threaded the whoopee sling through it didn't actually make any difference and I discovered that inside of where your webbing and whoopee slings go they've actually sewn in like the material strong material so it won't fray the end of your hammock so for those of you that were concerned about that please don't worry uh, it's dd hammocks have really really designed this to the max with the things we probably haven't even thought of ourselves so they've done a bloody good job in my opinion so basically i've got my whoopee sling direct to my hammock now the attempt the end attached to the hammock I've used a small end, the fixed loop. I've seen a couple of you using the large loop end. Now I personally don't do that. I like the small end fixed loop because obviously it's fixed, it's attached. At least I've got all the adjustment at my sort of loose end, if you like. Now here what you can see, obviously I've got my DD hammock whoopee sling kit. Uh, comes with the webbing straps here with an eye in either end. Um, I just feed one, one through the other. Obviously, that's my tree for today. And then, once I've weaved that through there, I've got a carabiner. Now attach my whoopee sling onto the carabiner. Um, so basically, me webbing from the tree, the whoopee sling from the hammock to the carabiner. Now because my passage hallway here is very short there's not enough distance for me to use this so hence why you can see I've used a sorry a hitch there and I've just put my whoopee sling around the hitch just for now uh, I've kept a couple of toggles I use them in the woods but my new setup I'm going to be using the, the whoopee slings direct to my carabiners as my drip line so none of this hitch configuration unless I do need it for slight adjustments like I have today a couple of things I noticed obviously I've got my 
bungee for mosquito net. Mosquito is black now, so you can see straight through it. Zip side entry to get in. I'll show you inside there in a minute. And then in between, I can't see very well because unfortunately I'm not using my good camera today. There's the double layer, and you can fit your sleep mat inside there. Um, or if you're really into your bushcraft and stuff, you can stuff that with leaves, pine, anything to keep me nice and warm. But sleep mat will be going in there when I can get one. I have got a Neo Air X Lite, but it's not really suitable for the hammock. Um, what's a bit frustrating with this camera, I can't really show you. Basically, on the side, you've got loops, little webbing loops on the outside. There's one at this end obviously one at the other end on both sides I wasn't expecting them at all um, so I think that would be handy I could use that I could even run a line between them to hang stuff on um, it's a handy little feature I didn't realize was there to be honest so another great improvement it's webbing set up at the same time at the top I just come inside another great feature on here you've got four pockets you've got one on each side at both ends um, bear with us let's try and get in here one handed let's just hope my door doesn't snap because I'm a bit of a fat get at the minute alright why this is fun trying to do this with one hand I'm just trying to zip this up, give you an idea of what it's like. Now the zips on this, you've got one on the outside and on the inside, obvious reasons. Uh, so you can close it from in and outside. I won't do it fully because it's a bit hard when you're swinging in your house with one hand. Anyway, you got the gist of it anyway. So when it's in the house here obviously it bunches up a bit and you can't really get right um, but a couple of other things I wanted to mention was you've got the little webbing loops on the outsides uh, two at each end sorry two on each side as well now on the inside here I don't know if you can see here this is where your pole goes through if you mosquito net now you've got your webbing strap on the outside to put your bungee elastic on um, and attach to hold the webbing up the mosquito net off your face sorry but I've actually attached a little loop on the inside here at both ends so with the loop at both ends I could even run a little ridge line in here just to hang some lightweight stuff uh, which I think is brilliant so storage wise if you really wanted to you've got the the double layer that I'm laying on where your mat would go you could even put clothes or whatever in there you've got four pockets now I thought it only came with two but since I've been playing in it you've got two at each end which I'm quite pleased about so I wasn't expecting that to be honest right, so you've got four pockets you've got plenty of attachment loops to hang your gear on uh, you could effectively set up one two two external little ridge lines along the edges of the top of the hammock sorry uh, to hang your gear on, you can even run one on the inside here for a little head torch or something, give you a bit of light. So I'm actually even more impressed with this hammock than I thought it was going to be. Um, in fact, I'm really excited to get out now. So just the main reason for this video, obviously, I'll do a review of this hammock or a bit of a better going over once I'm out in the woods and you can see it properly set up. Um, and I'm rambling on a bit but it's just hard to show you when I'm in the house especially with such a short passageway uh, unfortunately I've only got the one day off today and, and believe it or not the boss yes aka the wife has given me a big list of jobs to do um, still tiling my bathroom which is nearly finished looking lovely so I'm quite pleased with that so yeah no 
once again I just want to apologise to you all you've all subscribed to me and I'm very grateful for that um, you've got some lovely videos on for yourselves and I enjoy watching your videos um, but I just basically want to say I'm sorry please keep following me I promise I will get some wild camping videos up soon just with regard to the topic of bushcraft wild camping I don't swing either way at the moment um, towards bushcraft or wild camping yes my long term goals I really do like my bushcraft and I would like to do a lot more bushcraft um, I'm just generally love being out the house outside hence why I've not gone particularly towards bushcraft only or wild camping only I want to in all honesty have a good mix mash of both uh, I want to be able to go up the mountains on the hills on the fells and stuff in the Lake District or Northumberland or wherever anywhere in I can Scotland in the future hopefully so I'll take be use my tent for hilltop climbing uh, camping sorry and obviously my good old hammock for the woods and if I was really caught short this is the one that's designed so you can use it as a bivvy uh, so it's got the waterproof base on so and it feels home from home in here it's really nice I'm looking forward to getting out in it uh, 12 Sagittarians just tagged me uh, first tag I've ever had so it's me uh, bushcraft breakfast please keep your eyes peeled I will be putting that one up soon um, I'm hoping to get out this weekend and hopefully do a bushcraft breakfast so once again keep following I will get some videos up soon and just want to say thanks very much and speak to you all soon. Thank you.